Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard. What am I listening to? It was not a good song. Today guys, it is the day and it is time for our beast fusion. Alright, so I've been seeing of course everyone getting these fusions. Oh, of course I was late getting mine because of the Nakamura. It's finally time for me. To get it, I really, really, really want Mandy Rose or Liv Morgan. Three, a two, a one. <laughs> All right, I'll take that. To be honest, at least, at least it's not like Big E or like Xavier that I didn't really want because their images are quite similar. At least it's like Rowan and it's new because he doesn't have a bludgeon brother image in the game yet. So whatever. I mean, it is what it is, guys. I, I got him. I got him. You know, I'm gonna get more of these eventually. Um, we're gonna move on to Monster and then, and then we'll see what we can do, guys. Hopefully, we'll get someone I want here. Uh, Dinam, any one of the Shield or, um, you know, Samoa Joe probably. Don't particularly want Cedric, but it is what it is, guys. That was my Beast Fusion. I will see you guys uh, very, very soon for some Road to Glory. And I was right, guys, because Miz is the event card. And it has been, he's, I don't think he's ever had an event card. And it is so freaking awesome. Finally, my boy Miz. It's getting the event card, that is absolutely awesome. Really, really happy about that. And we're gonna hit that grind tomorrow morning early, as we normally do, guys, that long ass stream on the Thursday. I'll see you guys very soon for some more Supercard in this episode. Take care. Yo, guys, welcome back to the episode. So, guys, what I do have to finish off the second part and the video, because there won't be a third part. I thought we'd maybe do, I don't care about your offer. By the way, I'd like to just say, first time I've got an offer in Supercard in, Nine months, I think. So that's cool. They're finally got an offer. Um, so that's quite decent. But anyway, um, I thought maybe I'd do a little bit of Road to Glory in this episode. But I just realised we have some stuff to actually do, uh, which would wrap up the episode nicely. The first thing we're going to go do is this really expensive pack. Um, it's going to cost me... <laughs> it's, I, it might empty my wallet out, guys, to be honest. Brilliant joke, wasn't it? <laughs> Let's get this John Cena car back. Thank you for your free car back. That makes up for everything, doesn't it? Um, but we'll have to see what we get over the next couple of days. But if we get an, we get an attitude at some point, I don't know what we're getting tomorrow again. But if it's just stuff like this, you know, car back, an attitude, and 100 CP or 2,500 CP, whatever. Um, I'm sorry, but that's just not good enough. So I would like to say right now we do have nine members in the team. I'm um, looking for that, that final member. I've asked around for people who need a team. Uh, maybe someone has requested. There you go. Someone has requested. Except um, it's Litty. So that's cool. Um, he'll be joining the team. Let's get another song on while we go ahead and open our platinum pack as well. Because that's another thing we have to do, guys, in today's episode. Got the win. Got the win. Uh, close, but we got the win. None of, like, a couple of us didn't really bother to attack, you know understand why it's just a bit boring isn't it we normally take a lot i know a lot of the members in the team are like to take tuesday and wednesday just really to stop playing this game you know do other stuff really like take the break off of it because obviously even and especially when road to glory is coming up the uh the next day so anyway i i'm not going to give the whole speech of it's been so long since we've gotten a die i'm just going to open it and uh, it's the worst possible pack brilliant apollo cena Cena. <laughs> God. So bad. Is any of that at least catalogue? Yeah, Cena's catalogue. Okay, well, that's a start. No, I'm going to keep Cena. I'm going to keep the monster Cena's for my Money in the Bank deck. The Cena's a very good tier card. I'm going to use him. I'm going to use him in my Money in the Bank deck. That could be quite useful. We got Randy Orton, by the way. I need to update that pull, um, remove. It's not Ty Dillinger anymore. I um, I got Randy Orton, and then we got yet another pull after Randy Orton. I'm going to show you guys who we got now. Um, I don't remember right off the bat, but I remember when I see it. It was Seamus. Um, we got Seamus. So, yeah, brilliant. You know, um, Ty Dillinger... Uh, Randy Orton, which I obviously never updated because it was very quick after this Ty Dillinger, and then after Randy Orton, Sheamus. 
So I'll go ahead and put on my last pull that we've got in Sheamus for the next episode, unless maybe we get another pull before then. Pulls are coming, you know, fairly quickly. They're just not very good, aren't they? I know Randy Orton was a pro. Yes, he'll just about make my deck by the time I throw him up, though. Might not even make it, you know. He's slightly better than Finn Balor. Um, and then, yeah, he'll take Finn's spot, which is my last card in the deck. But yeah, I mean, it's not, not brilliant. A little bit of an update, guys, on our combinables. I know I've still got this Alexa Bliss to do. Like, I know I'm, I was very happy to get it. I'm still extremely happy that I did get this Alexa Bliss. Very, very, it's going to help me out. But when it comes to leveling it up and getting games played, guys, I just don't want to sit here and play wild mode or whatever. So I've put her in my war deck. I found a very nice war deck to, to go run with to put both of the Alexas in. I hardly ever lose um, because of that. Obviously, I put the common in, and it's a very good deck, very good deck. If it, you know, like, if it does call females, so I'll even win some of the female games because it will literally, I'll come up again, it's just uh, other Titan cards. What I could as well do, actually, is apply these tokens to make it that, that, that bit that much better. So, there we go, we'll confirm all of those tokens there. And what we'll do is we'll play, we'll play a game of war. If we win it, cool. If I lose, I'm going to look like an idiot saying I don't lose with this deck. And we're also going to talk a little bit about a certain someone's video, um, Noology, uh, reading out his hate comments. Now, for everybody, I do still get lots of comments. Why are you? What's what's going on? What what's what's this whole story about? Why why do you hate him? What has he said? All, all that stuff. Now, I'm going to make this very very clear. Of course, not everyone will watch uh, till the very end of my videos, so maybe only a small majority of people will be watching this part. But he made a video reading out his hate comments. Now, he has the audacity, okay, to clickbait. Pretty much every, it was all of his most popular videos are completely clickbaited, okay? Complete and utter clickbait. He's even got two videos, exact same title, the exact same thing, uh, both, that's his second and third most popular, anyway, he clickbaits. And then he goes to Ed, um, his YouTube channel, Edward uh, Leesman, I'm pretty sure I pronounced that right, awesome YouTuber, back in season one and kind of season two. Um, was doing, you know, has over 10k subscribers now, and he just started recently uploading again, and um, that's really awesome for him. But Noology went on to his video and commented, clickbait. Now, I know in his video, Noology said it was just to get a response out of people, and of course, it works because. Mate, you you are you clickbait. So don't go telling other people on other people's videos. They clickbait. So of course, a load of comments came in, um, and yeah, he made a video about it. Now, all I'm gonna say is, guys, I'm getting a bit of I'm getting some comments from his fanboys, um, you know, saying, oh mate, I don't I don't like you anymore. Why are you hating on Nology? What's all of it about? What's it all about? Well, I think he's a prick. He clickbaits. He's got a big ego, guys. He thinks he's the best. And he still thinks he's going places, whatever the hell that means, guys, with his 8,000 or 7,500 subscribers, you know. So that is pretty much it for everybody who wasn't too sure what all this, you know, commotion was about. So thank you very much for watching the video, guys. Um, I'll be obviously streaming tomorrow, 9 o'clock, start of the solo event. I'm going to be doing a very, very long stream. It's Road to Glory, so I'm going to have to get all of that done. At least the first Road to Glory. I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, turn on that notification bell, subscribe if you're new around here, and I'll see you soon. Peace out, guys.